Good morning, students. I am Yaku Jafaru, the facilitator of SOC 313, Social Problem. This morning we are discussing the following the mean of social problem, the characteristics of social problems, the causes of social problems, and reactions to social problems in the society. What is social problem? You can define social problem from your own point of view. Social problem is any problem or there, any, there are problems that can cause havoc or can cause damage to the society. These problems, I mean, these problems include such problems like prostitution, Prostitution is one of the social problems that we develop our society this time. Prostitution is a social problem which, if care is not taken, will not lead the country, will lead the country into a destructive place. Secondly, we have social problems like drug abuse. Drug abuse is a, social, is a social problem in our society today, not only in Nigeria. Even the developed nations are trying to bring an end to drug abuse. Because youth are taking drugs, and after taking hard drugs, they will, those drugs that the youth are taking will make the youth act not in accordance to the society laws. So, drugs abuse is one of the social problems. And then we have unemployment. Unemployment is a major social problem in all our societies today. We have restive youth doing nothing in the society. And then it is said that an idle brain is a devil workshop. If a person don't have work to do, he can devise another means of survival because you can't stay in a day without eating food. So you will either stay or look for another way to survive. So unemployment is one of the social problems we are facing in the society. And then another type of social problem which is common in our country, Nigeria, and in some other countries, we have public disturbance. Public disturbance actually is a social problem which we experience more especially, almost especially in the third world countries, which Nigeria is one of them. Public disturbance is one of the social problems we are facing today. For instance, your neighbor will own his generator, which we call a pass my neighbor, disturbing the public, causing all sorts of problems in the society. So social Public disturbance is one of the social problems. And then secondly, we have the characteristics of social problems. There are many characteristics of social problems, but we listed only we will list only three. One of the characteristics of social problems is they require collective approach for their solutions. Social problems require collective approach for their solutions. Secondly, they have same origin. Social problems have the same origin. And then thirdly, they are caused by pathological social condition, conditions. And then what is the causes of social problem? We have three causes of social problem. One of the causes of social problem, we have individuals, individual causes. individual we have individual causes secondly we have the cultural causes and then thirdly we have structural causes.
These are the causes, these are the major causes of social problem in our society. We have individual causes. Sometimes individual are the genesis of their social problems in the society. And then sometimes cultural aspects or cultural values, cultural norms are the major causes of social problems in our society. And then we have the structural causes. So these are the causes of social problem in the society. And then we have reaction. And our last discussion is reactions on social problem. How people react in respect to social problem. We have different ways on reaction on social problems. One we have an attitude. An attitude on person. Two we have fatalism. Three we have vested vested interest. These are some of the ways people react to social problems in society. One, an attitude on concern. This simply means that some individuals react to social problems in a society in the sense that they show unconcerned behavior toward what is happening in the society because the problem didn't affect them in any way. So that is why they show an unconcerned behavior. So that is what we mean by an attitude of unconcern. If the problem didn't happen to them or didn't affect them in any way, they show an unconcerned behavior. They are not. They are less concerned with what is happening in the society. And then secondly, we have fatalism. Fatalism is a situation whereby all what is happening is attributed to destiny. Like some people that are having some religious belief, they attributed all what happened to destiny. That it is destined to happen to you. That is why it happened. So they attributed social problems that are happening in society to destiny. And then the last but not the least, vested interest. Some social problems of course, people react to them in a way that they showed some unconcerned behaviors to them because they achieved a lot while those problems are happening. For instance, some people instigate crisis in a society for them to achieve political power. Or for instance, like what is happening in the Northeast Boko Haram issue, there are some vested interests. Some people benefit from the crisis. So that is vested interest. So this is how some people react to social problems in the society. So our subsequent discussion will be on poverty. What is poverty? What causes poverty in the society? What are the consequences of poverty? What causes poverty in the global level? And what causes poverty in our own level? That is Africa level or Nigeria level. So we call it a day. Thank you very much.